Hi, I'm Tim and welcome, welcome to TourDefenseTips.com TV. Today we're going to show you how to put bike into this Evo Seal Evo bike bag which has already been reviewed on the website so go check out the website. Just do a Google search for bike bag review or something on the right in the Google search bar. So prerequisites for today, of you need to buy this separately for road bike is a road bike adapter. Um, just these two parts. And I've also taken handlebars off my bike. The pedals have stayed on, although you can take them off, or you probably should take them off. I'm leaving them on because I can't be bothered. And the wheels have come off, obviously. Seat post stays on. Uh, so basically, we just open this up. Now, when you open your bag, it's supplied with these plastic stringers for wheel protectors in the side, which I'll show you how to fit and these two fiberglass stringers. So these simply go in the back to hold help the bag stand up put the bike here now grab the adapter Stick the forks in. These straps, this strap goes over the top just to hold the um, the padding in place, like so. All right. Now this internal block can move, so if you've got a slightly bigger bike, you can move it back and forward. Bottom bracket sits on the block. Trying to get everything in place here. Uh, that's actually for the seat tube. Stick it around here for now. Now you can see the handlebars is making this a little bit unwieldy. They basically fold in behind the bike, like so. And we just strap them down using the straps provided. Now I've got Yokozuna cables on this bike, so it's a bit, bit harder to move the handlebars around. This thing just pops in place there. We have a couple more fasteners or straps to wrap around the forks like that. There we go. Basically, we'll whack the bike back up on the block, like so. Now, for the block, we have a couple of straps which come down and around. Uh, packing this properly, I would put bubble wrap around this or some sort of protection um, and around the derailleur and stuff as well but for the purposes of this video we don't need to. You can see the bike wants to tilt forward a little bit so this will help keep it, keep it down a bit. Definitely put bubble wrap around the chain ring um, just to protect the strap. Stop it getting cut, keep grease off it. And there we go, it's not quite centered, but I'll just kick it back a little bit here. So that is basically it for the bike. Now, this isn't perfect, you can see the forks are rotated a little bit. You need to straighten them up. It's made a bit more difficult because of my handlebars and the cable. I'm using yokers and cables, like I said. They're very, very stiff and they twist the fork. The, uh, yeah, the fork around.
But basically, um, you can see the bike sits in there quite nicely. It doesn't quite sit on this block as well as I'd like to. Probably because I'm going to need to move it back. But you can see there's a bit of room inside here. You can put, um, put some tools or put some towels and padding and maybe wrap some bubble wrap around here, up the top here, and definitely around the, um, the handlebars. Protect your bike as much as possible and it doesn't weigh that much bubble wrap, so get it in there. That is a pretty nice package and that weighs about 16 kilos, so the bike's 9 kilos um, and my bike's about just over 7. Basically the wheels go in here, these plastic braces go in here to protect the wheels. I'm only going to do this on one side. Down she goes and we've got these nice hard plates here so just using my front wheel, skewers off as I said, don't lose the springs. And that's basically it, that's our bike bag all sorted out, lift from the front and drag it. And that's it for the uh, Evo C bike bag. It's very easy to get your bike in there. I rushed that for the video. Um, I don't know how long that took, probably six or seven minutes. Uh, you could take your time getting it in there a lot more solidly, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I think that was enough to show how easy it is to get your bike in there. Um, and if you take your time, you'll probably have a, you'll probably um, be able to get your bike in there um, a lot more snugly. Uh, like I said, don't forget bubble wrap, especially around the rear derailleur and the chain rings and stuff. And, with the block, the internal block at the back, just make sure the bike's on there properly and secured down nice and tightly. You don't want the bike moving around too much, but um, the wheels on the side should protect it. And like I said, a bit more bubble wrap and blankets and it'll be sweet as. Um, so I hope you I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Go check the review out on the website. I've already made a uh, video and done a, a blog post on there, so go check that out and you can check out photos and, and stuff. and. There will also be some photos in the post showing how to get your bike in there and how to secure it down properly. Uh, and as I said in the video review, this is a very good um, this is a very good bike bag. So if you're in the market one, definitely check it out. I hope this uh, video helped you work out how to get your bike bag into a bike bike into a bike bag. Thanks for watching and see you soon.